34 ish. Attention. Measure the length of the string and mass to calculate the mu. Mass, we have to take the mass. For this is L, the vibrator and the pulley. I know you can't, but it just I had to try. Measure the length of the string and its mass. Uh, is that the same? <laughs> <laughs> This is the mass of his string. Uh, no, no, we uh, we cannot, you know, plug this string and then mess it, right? Yeah. The string cannot do that. So we are using as another string over there to find the mass per unit length. It would be same. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Four point three seven. Okay. Four point three seven divided by one point six five. Anybody? Calculator. But uh, this is 237? Yeah. 234. 234. 4.37. 234 from this end to from that the end? From the pulley to the vibrator. Vibrator, yeah. To this. 1.65 okay. meter. 1.65 meters, yeah. Wait, no, no, wait, wait. Times two, one point six five times two. Because I, you know, oh, okay. added that, that double and then measured the length. So one point six five times two. Divided by two. Zero point zero zero one. Zero point zero zero one three. This is mass per unit. We need this. Okay? We need this length because for for all of the measurements we will use this L. Yeah. Okay. What is the graph we need to plot? Uh, lambda minus square square, square versus lambda square versus tension. Tension. Yeah. Tension. Yeah. Tension. Okay. So we need to find tension for each. And then lambda is square. Tension is So, what is the formula for lambda? 2L over N? Uh, it's 1 over frequency, square root of tension over. No, uh, from the. Lambda equal to 2L over N. Yeah. Yeah. You are so, right. we are using yeah. this formula yeah. to find the lambda for yeah. each. Okay. Loop. okay. Yeah. For example, for this one, N is 2. Mm. So, twice. This length, not this length now. Mm. So this is just to calculate the uh, mass per unit length. Okay. So we need to calculate this lambda for each loop and square it, and then the tension for each loop over there. So whatever mass you add, mm. and then get the tension, plot it. You will get a what's the equation that's involved here? Actually, lambda square equals lambda square equals to T 
over mu t over mu uh, f square t over mu in f square mm -hmm. f square okay so the thing is we are so this is actually i can rewrite as f square over mu times t mm -hmm. so it would be a straight line passing through origin and the slope you would equate this slope with f square, f square over mu we know the value of mu right mm -hmm. we know the now from here we will know the value of f because we have we will have the slope from this equation now you will compare that f measured with that one with this mm -hmm. 48 hertz yeah 48 hertz yes that's about all that and the experiment is done yeah uh, and it is, you know, uh, the error is less than 5%. As far as I remember, when I did this and that before, less than 5%. It's not, it actually seems like a pretty easy lab. It's yeah. just, we need enough mass, yeah. and the lab needs to give, I think, a little bit more for them to do it successfully. Like, mm -hmm. it should have, like, start at this frequency, like, mm -hmm. set it to this frequency. Mm -hmm. yes. Instead of, you know, pick a group of six people trying to find the right frequency and uh -huh. it would be a disaster yeah is, uh, is there a true node at the vibrator okay let's discuss the questions explain? now what what was the what is the first question first question is just first and second is about to, up to the uh, error in f okay okay and the question third one is what general effect does increase the tension have upon on the vibrating string what 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 general effect does increasing the tension increase in the tension have on upon the vibration of the string vibration of the string so you can use the what is the um, formula to find the lambda and so you can use this relation or there is actually the simplest relation to find the uh, frequency of vibration let's say frequency of vibration so it's easy actually if you increase the tension you are increasing the lambda and you we saw that right we mm -hmm. increase the we increase our, the lambda our loops go down we get more we yes get less. our loops exactly our loops go down and we get larger uh, yes. web length another another question is there a true note at the vibrator end of the string yeah. is there a, yeah nodes are the places where you have, you know, zero amplitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it should be stationary. But here, this is not stationary. Right. So it's not a true node, it's a pseudo node. Mm -hmm. Most of the textbook, they prefer it as a pseudo node. So it's a pseudo node. Wow. Mm -hmm. Any? All the string on violin, cello, and guitar are the same length. What difference do they have with and different frequencies what other way can the frequency be changed what other way can the frequency be changed? so there's kind of two parts what what's the difference that gives different strings and strings instrument frequencies and that's your tension oh all this violins and guitars are the same length what differences do they have with okay this is a question for you what other way can the frequency be changed uh use you, you you are a guitarist, so you should be able to answer that. <laughs> what do you do to change the frequency? Yeah, you just increase the yeah. tension. That's that's one way of doing that. Increase yeah. the tension in the string. Well, is there any other way? And you can do that by two methods, right? Actually not. You can do that only using just one method. You just use that tuner to tuner. increase the or decrease tuner the tension. Key. Is there any other way to do that? Change the string of different mass uh, that's again yes change the mass per unit length of the string yeah that is also okay another any other way can you decrease the distance between your for example here can you can you increase or decrease the distance here like in the guitar we do using our capo, capo right yeah. <laughs> so these are the methods to, to okay okay and the last question 
a copper wire one meter long weighing this this per centimeter vibrates in three okay copper wire one meter long so length is one meter 0.02 grams per centimeter 0.02 per centimeter right this is kg per meter vibrates in three segments loop is three when under a tension of 280 grams that's all that oh, it's numerical yeah what is the frequency of this vibration just you have a formula to find or or you can use this one mm -hmm. this one over here right yeah mm -hmm. where your lambda you can calculate lambda using this mm -hmm. l is given n is given lambda done now plug in here you can get the frequency yep. just a numerical problem okay. okay so our entire goal of this lab is to kind of find this slope value um mm -hmm. that's yes okay yes, yes. so we have to feed the we are plotting lambda square versus T. tension Tension we will mm -hmm. get from the mass over there. Yep. Lambda we will get the number of loops mm -hmm. and use this formula to find the lambda. Okay. You are too late. Yeah. I done. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we have enough weight to go around. Yeah. It's <laughs> around this year, so we're done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, the recording got good in, in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> just go through the, the first 30 uh, minutes were just yeah. <laughs> like, what do we do? <laughs> and also, uh, they are, while measuring the mass per unit length of the string, okay. the student may try to, you know, take the string out of this setup and measure that. They, they should not do that. Okay. We have another string over there. Okay. Measure the length, measure the mass. Same time. Yes. Everybody got everything they need on this? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Just, just get a photo of it. For everything. Thank you, no. <laughs> okay. Let's switch okay. it off. You don't need me in there. Team hmm. Ronam Kiwo. Come on, Amakil. Amakil is the uh, hero of 223. Come on, Jacob. Yeah. He's the instructor for the mandatory. Oh, sorry. I wasn't, no, I wasn't. The oh my god was not for you. Thank you. Thank you. So if you are coming here, trying this again, then try to, you know, do the same thing at a different frequency. Okay. Let's say, so far as I remember, in one of the semester, the frequency, frequency was 44 hertz. So you can try with 44 hertz instead of 48 okay. hertz. So. Oh, yeah. And this will be the usual thing in the actual lab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> it's just like the Atwood yeah. uh, machine. Everyone, you know, dropping weights, getting it. It's not sufficient for the whole setup. Very true. Well, you can have three three large groups. Yeah, with six yeah. students on each yes. group. <laughs> just bring everything out. Yep, just just bring it all out. <laughs> You're dropping everything. <laughs> <laughs> Slipping from the hand. here. 
Oh wow, yeah, no, these. <laughs> 500 grams. That will do. <laughs> Kyle. Then we may also try to give just one loop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, here you go. That's, that's a clean 500. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> That would do the job easy. I mean, we're gonna start. We only have to go up to nearly. I mean, uh, you might not want your feet, you know, to be around this. Yeah, um, sorry, yeah, <laughs> yes. Sure. But, no way. Uh, no, oh, no, no. Actually, for two knots, right? we have one, two, yeah. three knots. Three knots. Right yeah. No, not three. It's three. <laughs> one here, one here, two here, three knots. But we need why did you make the amplitude so Oh, just keep it in the maximum setting. This one and then, sorry. So keep on adding. Yeah, the you are standing about from that point. Uh, not. Yeah. Keep on adding the weight. Actually, yeah. it's already 500 something. Okay, that's easy. Hey, what's wrong? I have to keep this a little far just to make these completely aligned. Okay, okay, that brings in, right? Mm -hmm. That's the job perfectly. Wow. Oh, this is nice. This is really perfect in camera. You can't actually see, you know, the actual loops in the camera. You can just see, oh wow, it's working. <laughs> the string just staying still. This <laughs> is really pretty, right? You can change check with your phone. I know. You can use the example of that um, Chakoma. Breeze. Uh, yeah. For the, that's yeah. the same phenomena, right? I think if you if you watch the video, the, that breeze is oscillating at uh, uh, n equals to two. Okay. Okay, that's I the second second harmonic. It's oscillating in second harmonic.